Welcome to today's news roundup everyone. Tokyo Game Show just passed by and we've had a, quite a few Dragon Quest related announcements this past week, so I figured I'd go over everything in one video. To start off, at Tokyo Game Show we saw a new trailer for Dragon Quest XI S for Xbox One, PS4, and Steam. There wasn't a lot of new information to get, but the English version of the trailer appears to have the same voiceover artist for those coming to soon to DVD bumpers you used to see on early 2000s VHS tapes. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Coming December 4th, 2020 Dragon Quest Tact, the tactical RPG for mobile phones, has been announced for a localization to the West by Square Enix. It's a pretty good game with some unique character designs and interesting side stories. This is the second DQ Mobile game that we've gotten this year. Dragon Quest of the Stars released early this year. Dragon Quest Tact will be on iOS and Android devices, however you can apply for early access on the Google Play Store. Check the link in the description for more details. It has been announced that Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, the mobile game from Square Enix, will be having a crossover collaboration with Dragon Quest of the Stars. While I don't know the details, it can be expected that both Dissidia and Stars will each have special content from the opposite game, so there may be Final Fantasy equipment showing up in the Dragon Quest of the Stars. Yakuza Like a Dragon, the newest entry in the Yakuza series by Sega, will now be releasing three days earlier than expected, on November 10th, 2020, for Steam, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and the Windows Store. The PS5 version is coming March 2nd, 2021. The game is a turn-based RPG heavily influenced by Dragon Quest. It stars low-ranking thug Ichiban Kasuga, who happens to be a huge Dragon Quest fan, and it is about his rise to the top of the criminal underworld. I've played the demo, it's actually very fun. I'm really excited for this, and Yuji Horii even gave the team permission to name drop Dragon Quest, so he's a collaborator in some form. The new amiibo for Hero in the Super Smash Bros. lineup has released in all territories by now. You can train a CPU-controlled AI to fight for you. Most retailers should have this in stock. Finally, the big news. Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai, the new anime adaptation of the very popular Dragon Quest manga by Riku Sanjo and Koji Inada, is airing this weekend with English subtitles. You can watch The Adventure of Dai in North America on Hulu and Crunchyroll. Australia, New Zealand, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe can watch it on Crunchyroll, and France can watch it on Anime Digital Network. This is a huge release from Toei Animation that I've been anticipating for a long time. The manga is great and the animation looks fantastic, so I'm really looking forward to this. Make sure to join our official Dragon Quest Discord server for weekly watch parties and to discuss the series with like-minded fans. The link is in the description below. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.